Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash, and double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to all you I came out there who pushing this word with all truth and sincerity. And as well as to all you believers out there who believe in on the gospel. And it's the brother Kwara Abad from the GMS Houston camp. And uh, real briefly, I want to go into another lesson. I was um, uh, reading the book of Ephesians, the first chapter. You know, and towards the latter end of the, the uh, first chapter, you know, uh, these couple of verses caught my attention. And uh, I just want to go into them, you know. And um, not too sure what I'm going to title it, but just reading these verses, is, it kind of um, uh, laid out the process that we all had to go through. You know, when we first came into the truth, you know, first we had to hear the word. That's the first step, hearing. And then next, which a lot of people don't go to the next step because you have a lot of, of our people who heard the word, but they don't believe in it. And that's that second step, believing in what we have heard, man. You know, and the third step, as we go get in these scriptures, the third step to that after hearing and then after believing is receiving the the, uh, the Holy Spirit, man, which is that seal. Right. In other words, like it's going to say a down payment to our salvation. <laughs> you see a down payment to our salvation, you know, until uh, Yahweh shall come get the whole purchase, pos purchased possession, which is the elect, man. You know, but this the Holy Spirit that um, that seal, you know, uh, it, like it said in Revelation 7, the destruction can't come until the, the elect be sealed. Ezekiel 9, that seal exempt from judgment. So us hearing this word and believing could allow us to be exempt from the judgment, man, fully protected in the times to come. You know, again, so when it's time for salvation, that Holy Spirit we've been having this whole time. It's like we've been ha having salvation on railway. We paid it by way of what? Hearing and believing and receiving the Rechak Wadash, man. You know? But I hop into it and, um, and Lord willing, this lesson be edifying. I'll start right here in Ephesians 1. And uh, let's see. I'll start at verse. Uh, I'll start at verse. Let me get it in my scriptures because I got it on my phone. But I got my sword right here. So it's Ephesians 1. And I'll start at 10. Ephesians 1 and 10. In Lord Willing's lesson be edifying, it says that in the dispensation of the fullness of times, he might gather together in one all things in Mashiach, both which are in heaven and which are upon earth, even in him. It says, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance being predestined according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will, man. And that's our main hope, being chosen from the foundation of the world. And here it is. It says, in whom also we have obtained. I read that already. I'll read it again. Then. It says, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will, Verse 12, that we should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in Mashiach, you know, who first trusted in Mashiach, going into the ones who the word went to first, the southern kingdom, um, as Apostle Paul said. But right here, of course, this is the church of Ephesus, you know, Apostle Paul's office, office was to go to those Israelite foreigners, you know, but the first who this word was preached to was those who knew they was Israelites, the circumcision, in other words. So it says, verse 12, that we should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in Mashiach, in whom ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of truth. And that's the same thing for us because we are those Israelite foreigners, man. We didn't grow up knowing we was Israelites and knowing the laws. We was raised up in a strange land. But now we hearing the word as well, as well, the word of truth. And now we are trusting in Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you see? Like it said in what that is, 1 Peter 1, and I believe 2 Ezra 1, how whom, whom we have not seen yet, we love, and whom uh, we still don't see him, yet we believe him, man. We don't see Yahweh Shai. We ain't 
You ain't never meet him face to face yet, but we believe everything the Lord say. But let's get to it. It says, in whom he also trusted. After that, he heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. So that's the first step. I'm going to stop there because it's going to keep going on, you know, but that's the first step of the truth. Hearing the word. Matter of fact, let me get um, this in Romans real quick and we'll go back to that. So that's the first step of, uh, you know, receiving that seal, receiving the Holy Spirit. First is hearing the word. This is Romans 10. And I get straight to the point. Romans 10, and I'll start at 14. It says, how shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they heal without a preacher? It says, and how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Now check this out. Verse 17, it says, so then faith cometh by hearing. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the most high, man. So that's the first step of coming into the truth, coming back to who we are as a people, having that opportunity to be the elect. We have to hear the word first. And it says, but I say, verse 18, have they not heard? Yes, verily. Their sound went into all the earth and their words unto the ends of the world. You see, so that's the first step. And um, coming back to the Lord, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and our Lord, Yahweh Shah, getting acquainted with our powers again. We have to hear the word first. Let's go back to Ephesians 1 to get the next step. Ephesians 1 to 13. In whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. In whom also, after, so after hearing, it says, in whom also, after that, ye believed, man. And that's why a lot of people don't even get past the first step. Because, Jake, you got a lot of Israelites who hear the word, but they don't believe in it. Only the elect going to believe in it, man. Going to truly believe in it for what it is. No matter who bringing it out, what men, how these men look, if they look poor or bummy, whatever it is. If the elect hear this word, they're going to believe in it one way or another, man. Uh, What that is? Uh, I think it's 1 Corinthians. Let me see. First Corinthians. So we got the first step. That's hearing. Second step is on belief. Believing. Right? This uh first Corinthians. I think it's chapter one. The first Corinthians going into how although we know men bringing it out, we know it's the word of truth that these men speaking. Let me see if I can find this first Corinthians. Oh, it's Thessalonians. One oh, no. of Hold on. Bad with me. I think it's first Thessalonians or Philippians. Okay, here we go. So this first Thessalonians one call all y'all by Shemel Shah. First Thessalonians two and thirteen. It says, For this cause also thank we the most high without ceasing. Because when you receive the word of the most high, right? When we heard the word, right? It says, When you receive the word of the most high, which ye heard of us, heard of men, it says, Ye received it. Not as the word of men, but as it is in truth, the word of the most high, <laughs> which effectually work of also in you that believe. So only again, only the elect going to be able to go to that next step and believe in what they hear. Although we see men speaking it. Just like I said in John, let's get that John 17 and 20. And we'll go back to Ephesians. Yahweh Shai even said he don't just pray for his prophets, you know, his disciples alone, but for those also who believe on him through what these men speaking. And that's the, step, the second step. And the Lord have allowed us to go from the first step hearing whenever, whatever year we heard it in, wherever we heard it on YouTube, on the highways and hedges. But something sparked our spirit to believe in what we heard. And we kept um, seeking the word out, wanting to hear more. You know, let's get that real quick in John. Want to hear more, man. And our, our hope is what? That we receive that thawa, which is that that uh, that mark of it being exempt from judgment and also being sealed, being protected from the plagues that's coming. You know, uh, when the last plague, those missiles coming, come, we hear come up hither. 
and that's when that uh the elect gonna be purchased by Yahweh Shai. But again, that Holy Spirit that men receive on this side is a down payment to our salvation, as the scripture's gonna say, man. But uh let's get that John 17 real quick in 20. Going into the believers, how they gonna believe on Yahweh Shai through what the prophets, the men are speaking. Which is the second step. It's uh John 17 and 20, it says straight to the point. Yeah, John 17 and 20 says, Neither pray I for these alone. And again, in context, Yahweh Shah was talking to his disciples or about his disciples. Because he said, I pray for them, I pray not for the world. But now he's saying, Neither pray I for these alone. So not just my disciples, my servants. It says, Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. So that's that second step, man. Believing on Yahweh Shai through what we have been hearing. And now, now that we made it to the step to what, what? We heard the word. We believed on it. Now the Lord endowed us with the Ruch HaKadosh, that Holy Spirit of truth, that protection, man, that seal from judgment. And Lord willing, you know, uh, we able to continue therein and actually make it into the chariot. And like the scripture says, um, that we escape all these things and be worthy to stand before the Son of Man. But let's go back to that Ephesians. Like I said, I was just reading it and I was like, oh man, that's that's the process on what how we got to where we are now. First we had to heal, then we had to believe, and then the Lord blessed us with that Holy Spirit, man. To understand the truth, to understand what, what brothers are saying, to see prophecy was going on in the world, and ultimately our hopes is to be protected from all the evil that's coming in this world, man. But let's go back to it, Ephesians 1 and 13. It says, In whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth. I'm going to start at 12. Ephesians 1 and 12, it says, That we should be to the praise of his glory, who first trusted in Mashiach, in whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believe. So after hearing, we believe in what's next. It says, and ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, man. That seal. Again, like uh, Revelation 7 say, the first couple verses. The destruction can't come until the servants of the Most High be sealed in their foreheads. You know, protect, fully protected. Got what we need to endure in these times. Now that we believe in. So you have some, some Israelites who heard the word, right? And they believe they don't have that, that opportunity or hope to be saved in these times. Because, hey, again, we just got it in Romans, what that is, 10. How shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? So when destruction comes, they don't, they don't have an outlet of a power to call on. But the Lord blessed us with that extra Belief for these times we're going into, man. It says, um, in whom also after that you believe, you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. Check this out. It says, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory. All right now, I'm going to read that in the NLT. That Ephesians 1 and 13. Because again, it's going to that. Matter of fact, before we get to NLT, I'm going to get a couple of uh, definitions. In Ephesians 1 and 14, I'm going to get a couple of definitions. Going to that word earnest. So I'm going to read the verse again. It's Ephesians 1. It says, after that, you believe you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. Let's go into that word sealed, which is G4972, uh, Phrygizo. Phrygizo, it says, a signet, a private mark, which is that Thawa, Ezekiel 9 and 4. Mark from, from the uh, um, exemption from judgment, man. Like you see, told the angels, look, go kill all those women, children. Young, old, babies, but come not near the man who have the mark. Why? Because these are the ones who heard the word and they believed in it. So don't come touch them. 
It says for security or perse uh, preservation. It says to keep secret, to seal up. And the outline biblical usage says to seal upon, mark with a seal. It says for security from Satan. That's that whole armor. <laughs> That's that whole armor of protection, man. All from hearing and believing. It says, uh, right, to the angels are said to seal, are said to be sealed by the most high to confirm, authenticate, man. Right? But the one that says what? To seal from the judgment, to uh, preserve and from security from Satan. Everything that's about to happen in this world, those who heard and believe will be protected from it, man. Now let's go to the next verse because Ephesians 1 and 14 says, which is talking about what? That Holy Spirit that we now have received. Because it says, um, after that you believe you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. It says, which is the earnest of our inheritance. So let's go into that word earnest because this Holy Spirit that we have been sealed with, it says it's the earnest of our inheritance, which is G728 in the blue letter. Our bun, our bun, and it says, earnest the money which in purchases is given as a pledge or down payment that the full amount will subsequently be paid. In other words, <laughs> you know, you they used to have Lailway and Walmart, you know, Lailway. You know, you put a little money down, you just pay it over time. So look, it's yours, it's yours, but you, you know, you can't get it until you pay it off. Right. But look, nobody else can get it because you already started paying on it. So, look, the point is we have received the Holy Spirit now. So this is our access to salvation. We we paying on it. We just got to wait till your Shai come back for the full purchase possession and then we'll be good. This is the down payment. We received the Rechakwadash. This is the down payment right now, man. As long as Lord willing, we keep doing this work, keep hearing and believing. And Lord willing, we should be straight, man, when all these things come. You see, it says that down payment, <laughs> right? It says the part of purchase money or property given in advance as security for the rest. So the Holy Spirit was given in advance as security for our spot on the chariot, Lord willing, man. For our crown, Lord willing, man. Remember, Yahweh Shah said, let no man take that crown. In order for somebody to take something for us, we have to have access to it. So right now, having this, hearing this truth, believing in this truth, and receiving the Holy Spirit is the access to a spot on the chariot. Now, is that going into saying we already made it? No. Apostle Paul said it. We ain't talking with it. What that is, Philippians 3. We ain't saying we, we have already obtained, but we fighting for it, though. We have an opportunity. Again, a lot of people don't make it past hearing. A lot of people don't get to the second step and believe. Now, some people may hear and believe, like, okay, I agree with y'all saying. But then you mention a chariot and you are forward and be like, oh, well, you lost me there. Right. You see? But the ones who will be sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise are those who follow that lamb, whether so ever he goeth. Now, uh, I'm going to read them verses, them same verses in the um in the blue letter. I mean, uh, Bible Hub. Let's see what it say. This is Ephesians 1. In 13, in a, in a Bible hub, it says, and it's the NLT version, it says, and now, I'm going to start at 12, Ephesians 1 and 12, it says, the most high purpose was that we, the Jews, who were the first to trust in Mashiach, will bring, will bring praise and glory to the most high. And now you Gentiles have also heard the truth, the good news that the most high saves you. And when you believed in Mashiach, that second step, he identified you as his own by giving you the Holy Spirit, whom he promised long ago. Only ones who could receive that is the elect. So, man, whew, you see, he identified us as his own. <laughs> and he said, what? His own dangle go out his hand or his father hand. And where he is, we're going to be there also. So we have this Holy Spirit, and, and it's this, it is the Spirit. How even the Apostle Taha, uh, what, a couple years ago, instead of just saying, hey, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, 
uh, Baraka thought, oh, we want to give all praises to you, Howard Bashim, Howard Shai. He threw up in there, Rahak Wadash, to mention that Holy Spirit. And you, look, out of all the, and I'm not just saying it's great millstone, but out of all the camps, we the ones, when we open up, we give credence to our power, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and we acknowledge the Holy Spirit, Bahashim Rahak Wadash, man. That's that down payment. <laughs> you know, those ones who are identified as Yahweh Shai's own. But it says, and after you believe in Mashiach, he identified you as one of his own by giving you the Holy Spirit, whom he promised long ago. Check it out. It says the spirit is the most highest guarantee that he will give us the inheritance he promised and that he had purchased us to be his own people. Man, it says he did this so we would be pray so we would praise and glorify him. The NIV says the Holy Spirit is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are the most highest possession, man. So if we have the Holy Spirit right now, we truly hear and believe in these things. We have a great chance more than anybody in this world to be on that chariot with Yahweh Shai. Because again, who on that chariot ain't go be surprised that they own a, oh, <laughs> <laughs> you got somebody on the chair and they said, why I'm on here? What's going on? Right? And you have a shot walk out and you, you tap the person on the side. Hey, who, who is that right there? No, we all going to know why we up in there, what it took to get there. And we believed on the truth before getting up in there, man. Identify that your how is own. You see? Look, that's pretty much it. You know, I just want to touch on that, you know, but that's, hey, that's that process of our salvation, man. Before we could receive the Holy Spirit, which is the down payment for us being on that chariot, you know, and you go to a concert, you buy the tickets in advance, so you good. You got your seat. You got your seat, right? You ain't got to worry about if it sell out because you already got yours. You just got to wait till the concert come and go sit in your seat. That's that's liking unto what we have received. And again, I'm not saying that that we already are the elect we still gotta fight we still gotta go through jacob's trouble we still gotta go through the hour of temptation but going through it with this confidence that's the hope man that's the hope that's the expectation of good right so the same thing we have this this purchase um this this down payment right now right then what when your how shall come then lord willing we have a spot on the chariot though you see let me get this real quick second as six and i'll end it Second measure six and uh five. I go into the point, um, and it's just you know the Lord telling Edris how he you know established and created everything before the world was. Because look, even the ones who sealed right now here in the end of the world, they was already sealed to be saved before the world was. Let me read it. This second measure six and one, and he said unto me in the beginning, when the earth was made. Before the borders of the world stood, or ever the winds blew, before it thundered and lightened, or ever the foundations of paradise were laid, it says, verse 4, or ever the heights of the air were lifted, before the measures of the firmament were named, or ever the chimneys in Zion were high, this is the point, and ere the present years were sought out, and or ever the inventions of them that now sin were turned and before they were sealed that have gathered faith for a treasure man you see so that sealing happened way back then way back then and it's just being manifest not here in the end for us you know in law willing we are that number man but just going into that see well um hearing and believing takes us to receive what a down payment to our salvation that might be the title you know, but look, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rachakwadash. And double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to all you walking and out there who pushing this word with all truth and sincerity. And as well as to all you believers out there who believe in the gospel. We keep fighting, keep pushing. And with that, Shalom.